we have to do it. We have to do it together like that on that part. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? <laughs> We're doing the military. <laughs> you didn't do it. <laughs> I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame. Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another video. It's me, Andrea, and as you can tell by the title of this video, we're doing the dual, dual military, military tag. tag. <laughs> okay, so basically what we're doing is we are basically telling you guys about us, our relationship, our selves, our the relationship, struggles. the struggles. Yeah, the struggles. But the way we're going to do it is going to kind of be like a Q&A type of thing. So I have a whole list here. Hold on. A whole list here of questions mm -hmm. and then at the end we're going to give you guys some tips on how to survive a long distance relationship because that's what we are doing currently mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me back up for a second if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 10k this year that's the goal we need to hit 10,000 by the end of the year let's go ahead and get started so i am sergeant andrea augustine i am in the army and i've been in the army for a little over seven and a half years so in <laughs> so in may that would be eight years obviously y'all know i'm gonna wait to a board so i'm hoping i at least hit that eight year mark and um i am from cedar rapids iowa and i'm stationed currently in north carolina boom too easy all right i am sergeant trayvon augustine been army four years um, I was previously 11 Bravo and I reclassed to 68 Victor where I met my beautiful, amazing wife. You know. <laughs> um, I'm currently stationed at Fort Johnson, formerly known as Fort Polk. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Right? Yeah. Yes. The next one is what's your MOS? So, oh, oops. <laughs> okay, I have, this is my third MOS. I first came in as 74 Delta, which is Seaburn. I then reclassed to 68 Charlie, which is LPN. And I reclassed again to 68 Victor, mm -hmm. which is a respiratory therapist. And that's what I'm currently doing. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, so I asked the question already by mistake, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I was a former 11 Bravo, I did three years. And then I was going to have surgery. So I decided to reclass before I get um, medically re reclassed. So I became a 68 Victor, and yeah, here we are. Here we go. It says, what made you join the army? What oh, made me join the army? Boy. So initially, the whole cliche, bro. I was, like, <laughs> I was 11 Bravo. So I joined the army, you know, doing range of school stuff and like selection and all that. And yeah, man, some injuries came along the way and you know, prevented mm -hmm. that stuff, but you know, it was cool. I went to range of school. Well, I went to pre-rec for the range of courses. That was cool, but oh. yeah. That's why you joined? Yeah, buddy. That's that. That's what I'm doing. I mean, I I played football in college. I got out, and I was like, "Damn, bro, I got bills." And then, <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Money." I joined the army because, well, they told me that they could pay for my school. They told me that I would be able to actually focus on school because before I joined the army, I struggled. I literally clawed my way out of homelessness, and so when I had my job, I kept trying to go back and forth to school, but I kept having to drop out of school because. I don't got no money and I'm always choose my livelihood over education, unfortunately. <laughs> so joining the army, they basically said, hey, you can go ahead and get your education if you join the army. And I'm like, bet, and they're going to pay for it. So that is the original reason I joined. And then the reason I stayed so long is stability. And honestly, this is probably the best job I've ever had. I'm going to be honest. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it says, uh, what has been the hardest part about being dual military? the space for sure like being not being together yeah yeah, so that's far. Right, yeah. i mean and, and i guess it's, it's an in fault of our own for waiting but yeah, yeah yeah definitely not been in the same location man it sucks so bad so bad like financially financially emotionally yeah. physically like it is it sucks it sucks yeah, and man. and not only financially but it's expensive to keep trying to go back and forth to see each other like it's so expensive. I mean, what has been since July, and we probably spent over like easily over five thousand dollars in yeah. transportation from going from it's, point A to point B. It's it, mm -mm. driving. Like you no. driven up there, I've driven up here. Yeah, it's been. And it's a fourteen hour drive, so it's not something that you want to like do all the time. Mm -hmm. Fourteen, fourteen, in the best case scenario, is the thing. So, Built different. <laughs> it's, it's just all bad. I hate oh, it. Oh man. Uh, what's one way you think the military brought you two closer together? Oh yeah, for that, so I need I need right answer for that one. I like the free ball it, but <laughs> I'll say just similar experiences. Really, I'll say um, like the like 
there is nobody who hasn't had a similar experience in inside the military when you like when you go through the day to day. I feel like that's the sort of thing. Like the hairpin weight, the fucking um, getting up early in the morning, like do, doing bare minimum PT, but spending like two hours doing it is literally literally insane. But the people who like enjoy fitness is like, bro, why am I waking yeah. up at five a.m. in the morning or earlier than that to go somewhere to do the minimum? That's helping like the last person way in the back that, exactly. that really can't do nothing is like, bro. <laughs> you know what? That's know. funny because mine was pretty similar. It's just having somebody to go through the same exact experience mm-hmm. I go through. Like when I yeah, come home. I haven't explained. Yes. Yeah. Like trying to date a civilian. And don't get me wrong. I know I got some civilians out there, but this is just our, our us. But <laughs> going home and trying to vent to somebody who don't know like the terminology, the processes, the things that you have to go through. So you mm-hmm. have to climb off of your vent explain to them what something mean like i remember one time when i was venting to somebody about my leave getting rejected in the da31 and they're like wait what and so then i have to not be mad calm down yeah. explain what a da31 <laughs> is and then jump back into the rant at that point i didn't lost i, I didn't lost it but when i can come home to somebody who knows what i'm going through it's I, I i like it because he can bounce he can, he can bounce encouraging encouraging words off me that make sense to the situation that i'm in on top of like he said fitness i feel like it's kind of your job being in the military to stay fit so because again we have that mutual goal because we're both in the military that's one of the things that we bond over is fitness wild wild uh, how old are you and when's your birthday <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm 29. My birthday is June 1st. You know, the real OG. <laughs> I am 31. And my birthday is also June 1st. Crazy. Because he wanted to be like me so nah, bad. Bro. No, he wanted to be like me. It's cool. It's cool. His I, mama I, wanted to be like my mama nah, so bad. I just had another year, of mar- like another two years of like marinating. You know, I just had to, had to, had to wait. That's what you call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did you meet? I oh, yeah. I got, yeah. Th- I, I got, I got mm-hmm. this. You, you can butt in, but I got this. <laughs> so... First of all, it's so crazy. I kid y'all not, and y'all already know, I talk about God and my spirituality. God did this. He did this. Because let me tell y'all, so so on, on my end of things, the way like we came together on my end of things, when it was time for me to go to school, I my my class was in July and I tried my hardest to get a push push to November's class because I didn't want to move the kids around and stuff so mm-hmm. as often as I already had y'all I tried my hardest to get my school date pushed to November and it just did not happen for me luckily luckily and it's crazy because <laughs> I tried my hardest to get the the earlier date because I was going to have the November class and I was like no, I'm trying to get out here as soon as possible. Like I need to complete my classes because I had to. I had to do one more class um, to get approved to come to this course because they have like prerequisites or whatever. And I was literally like in school at the time, had just finished right before deployment to get into this course, and I was like, bro, this is literally insane. So he just barely made it to the July class, and I was trying my hardest to get out of the July class, hmm. but somehow it just it just lined up that way, right? Wild. And then. First of all, when you go to the 68 Victor class, they tell you that they want you there a week in advance. They want you like there 13 days before the class start because they want you to in process and do all these things. Via email. Via email. He <laughs> didn't have access to his email, so he didn't listen. So he showed up like right on time. Like the week before. Yeah. And so when he showed up, just so happened we were like cleaning this little outside thing we all have to form up under. And I want to say I was like the only one that was still like left out there when he walked up. Mm-hmm. So when he walked up, he's like, hey, is this where I'm supposed to be? Because I think he went over to the old place first. Yeah, I was on, I was the only one in uniform. Everybody was in PTs and stuff. And so he came over and I'm in PTs. I was sweeping up and everything. We're with the drill sergeant. And he walks up and I was just looking at him like, who is this? Mm-hmm. I said, I don't know. I don't know what I said to him. <laughs> but I was saying like little things to him like you were supposed to have been here. Something, something smart and just small, I was saying. So fast forward. Um... We all had this group chat that one of our friends ended up putting us in, and I guess she met him at the gym. And no, she no, put, no, that was at uh, finance. At finance, yeah. that's when she put you in a group chat. Mm-hmm. She put him in a group chat. We're getting ready because our plan was to go down and explore San Antonio, mm-hmm. and then next thing you know, I just put in a group chat because it was supposed to be a group of us, but you know how group chats work. All of people start trickling off. So I threw in a group chat. I'm like, hey, we're about to be heading down to the river walk. And if you, you know, if anybody else wanted to go, he wrote back and he was like, 
where was this information at? I want to go. Yeah, I was lost in this sauce. And I'm looking at the last <laughs> name, right? I'm looking at the last name and I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, I think that's that super cute guy. Like what? So I, I shot back and I was like, oh no, yeah, we're still going. And you asked about us carpooling or if yeah, we yeah. just- <laughs> I didn't want to like, so like, I had just, like, like, this is my thing. I had just came back from the gym, hopped in the shower and I was like laying down and I saw the message and I'm just like, I'm like, whoa, 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 I want to go to the river walk. Like, what's, what's going on? I was like, what was the information earlier? And it was like, oh, I was talking about it all day. And I was like, when? Because I ain't seen nothing about this. We've been this. talking about it even the day nah, before. Cat. I was, I was in, yeah, so I can't say nothing about that. But. So, next thing you know, I'm like, um, I'm like, oh no, I can come get you. It's fine. I'm like eight minutes from post. I had on a completely different outfit that I had on from when I saw him. And I had to go and like fix my hair real quick. I put on my outfit. I'm like, okay, let's go. I had all the junk and stuff still in the back of the car and everything. <laughs> so I ride up on him. He coming out looking all cute and whatnot. So, so we're just having like a nice little normal conversation. And you were asking me like, I don't know. I, I was talking about my birthday. I said I really wanted to celebrate my birthday because mm -hmm. I had just turned 30 and I didn't get a chance to do anything for my birthday yet. And you were like, oh, when's your birthday? And I was like, oh, well, it's June 1st and blah, blah, blah. And he's like cutting me off. He's like, ain't no way. Yeah. He's like, ain't no way. I'm like, what? I'm still trying to finish what I'm saying. He's like, ain't no way. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm thinking he's about to be all corny. Like, my mom's birthday is June 1st. He's like, that's my birthday. And I was like, get this girl. You're lying. <laughs> she thought, so, let me see your ID. Let me see your ID. I'm like, bro, what are you? Like, you don't believe me? That's crazy, bro. And it's crazy because then, like, I kid you not, y'all, that, so that was the first time we like met up. Mm -hmm. And that's when we decided to move in with each other. Yeah, I think it was like the, I don't know, it was like the next day. What, what, what was within a the, within the week? It was sure. within, yeah. Because I think we went out and then we were driving back and he was like, I was like, I'm about to stay in that fucking that house like fucking like 30 minutes away. And he was like, what? And, and I was, I was like, like, well, I'm looking for a place too. I'm like, why don't we just get a place together, like close post and just roommate? Mm -hmm. <sighs> See how she that know, turned out. She, <laughs> know, she, knew what, she knew what she was doing. Don't let her believe yeah. I was plotting. But yeah. So yeah, that's how we met, and now he we went from strangers to roommates mm -hmm. to married. Yeah, I know me. I was just chilling there, bro. Then, yeah, she got out the car. I ain't even look at it. I ain't gonna lie. Like I was trying not to like stare at her while she was driving, so I was like, you know, paying attention to the road. We was talking and joint, like cooling. But <laughs> when she got out the car, like I was like, oh snap! Like she liked that. <laughs> I had to take a video real quick, send it to the group chat with the homies. So I was like, that's yeah, why I had to, I yeah. had to throw that. <laughs> Listen, you oh, gonna see this. Man. Let me see. <laughs> What's the next one? Who said I love you first? Oh yeah, even though she didn't want to admit it. Yeah. He did. It was definitely Wait, her. What? what you mean admit it? Oh, I got videos. Okay, first of all, so I'm gonna I'm gonna insert all these videos yeah, too. Go ahead, go ahead. He Actually, I'm gonna said, that text I love you first. So we ended up meeting y'all. And the video that I'm gonna insert of him fist bumping this guy that I guess was congratulating him on me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, he took me back to the same place. What was it? Coyote Ugly. Coyote Ugly. Coyote, yeah. oh my god. The fame the famous spot. <laughs> He um he said I love you first and it was so funny and I was like so taken back because I'm like at this point I had already loved I knew I was already in love with him and said. but I wasn't gonna say it <laughs> like what do I look like saying it first so then when he said it I was like what and I said it back then so I believe her she don't want to admit it but she said it twice before I said it twice when was this yeah it's okay when people drink when people get drunk when they <laughs> first come out. Yeah, it could be, just be, oh, I love you, oh. oh my God, that was like a normal, like, oh nah. my gosh, I love you. I was like, I text my buddy, oh, I was like, she said it again, bro. <laughs> You're lying. Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine to watch. I'm seeing the screenshots, I'm fine, they in there. They ain't delete. <laughs> Let me see. The God. next one was, where did you go on your first date? Where did we go on our first date? Um. I mean, I don't know what you want to count on the first date. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to count that day, that time we went out with April. To the flower? Yeah. To the sunflower stuff? Because yeah. that was just such a good, like, day. And that was when everything, like, everything was already We solidified. went all, we just went all over the place. Yeah, let me tell y'all this We were just Googling spot. Uh -huh. 
when we ended up we ended up going out with one of our friends um shout out to blicken anyway <laughs> um we ended up going out with her and we wanted to see the lavender fields that's that was the goal that was the mission when we went out that day is to see the lavender fields mm -hmm. and when we got there unfortunately they had already harvest so we didn't get to see them but as we, i think we were driving or we we're probably just right there already yeah it was, it was the same place it was, it was the outside place. yeah but we had saw this um, this sunflower fields and we're like oh those are really pretty let's let's go take pictures over there and I had on this yellow dress and everything just was working out so pretty I was like natural face and everything. it was beautiful it was beautiful mm. it was by chance so we're taking pictures over there and doing all this stuff and we we're just doing a lot of stuff that day actually yeah I'm saying that's I was like we were just googling spots it was, it was just, just so like... fun but <clears throat> fast forward to like a few weeks ago <laughs> I thought it was so crazy that because we had just so we just so happened to stumble across that sunflower field. And did y'all know that mm -hmm. sunflowers means it, it symbolizes lasting love and happiness. Mm. And like I said, we didn't it, we didn't purposely go that we just so happened to stumble across it when they're just in full bloom. Absolutely beautiful. And what what I tell you yesterday, I found out that sunflowers Play when turn. it's. Yeah. When it's cloudy or there's not a lot of light outside, sunflowers turn to each other to be each other's source of light. And they're also aware of each other. So if their roots are close, they reunite and share nutrients. Wow. He's my human it's son. It's crazy. Hmm. And so that's just God little reassurance. Like, yes, I made you for him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is this is right this time. Uh, I promise. Oh so, um, yeah, I count that as our first date when we went to the fields. Everywhere. We went to... Went to two two lavender spots, and then we went to the like that park that uh that nature oh, park. Oh yeah, yeah, and we never went back to go to yeah. the to the thing. It was so many things we still got to do. That's when I had that gross IPA, bro. Yeah. Oh. It was like the paratrooper or something. Why you drink you paratrooper do? IPA, bro. Something wrong with you. <laughs> like, I don't oh, know why you drank it. I was curious. You literally was telling us how gross it was, and you still yeah, because all IPAs have like a, a specific a specific taste. So but I wanted. I was curious. I was like, let me see. Let's see. Um, what was the first movie we watched together? Damn. Like in the movie, dude? I guess so. I don't know. I feel like we went to so many. Was it the scary movie? Uh, damn. Oh, that's a hard one. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like... Well, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. She don't watch movies, bro. She one of the people who like don't know no shows, <laughs> don't know no movies, haven't seen anything, and I gotta like drag her to go see it. I feel like it was a so, scary movie, though. It might have been. Oh, wait, Megan? Was that it? Mm, I don't know. We gonna say Megan, Megan, Megan. It was oh. either Megan or that. Um, what is it? The Exorcist, the Exorcist movie. It wasn't Black Panther, was it? Nah, no. No. It was a scary movie. I can't remember. It was either <laughs> Megan or the Exorcist. Some. Wait, what about the movie with the X on the door? We go to see a lot of scary movies. Mm. I like scary movies. Anywho, mm -mm. <laughs> where was y'all's first kiss? Coyote Ugly. Yeah, I'll say Coyote Ugly at first. It was definitely Coyote Ugly mm -hmm. because remember that was when the video of when you were fist bumping a guy. I'm gonna insert it. I'm gonna insert same it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It was the same night, and okay. it's funny because I would look back on the video like, that's it. He, yeah, it was that, 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 that day. That's it. I can see it in his face. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna just go for it. I'm gonna just see what happens. And that's when you like grab me, and you like <laughs> kissing my neck, and then I kissed you, and I was like, yep. Oh boy. Locked in. Yeah, just go ahead and cover your eyes for that video. <laughs> it's a little cringy. <laughs> it's very cringy. <laughs> um, let me see. Then, um, what are your favorite things to do together? I like when we just go out and just do random stuff. Yeah, I mean, anything outside, I guess. Yeah, like when we just, like, especially like going to the river walk or going to like that little trail. So the thing with him is he gonna find something to do. If it's outside and it's to do, he gonna find it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kid you not. And he's so like, I'm more of an introvert and he's a very outgoing extroverted type of person he I, I told y'all about the time when he was floating down a river by himself he was supposed to win a scout out a I spot for us. he was floating down a river <laughs> and i it's, i tell him all the time it's his personality because these random people just walked up to him and was like hey you by yourself 
And he's like, yeah, float <laughs> down the river. And they're like, come have a beer with us. No, it was cool. It was cool. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of sketchy at first. Like, I, I, I was floating down, you know, whatever, like recording. This is my music. I was just having a good time. <laughs> and, uh, and the guys was like, hey, man, what's going on? And I'm just like, yeah. He's like, what's up? I'm like, yeah. And I was going down. He's like, hey, man, can I come have a drink with us? Whatever. I'm, at first, I was like, oh, no. And I kind of like kept flowing down, kept flowing down. <laughs> and I was thinking about it. And I was just like, ah, what, 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 what can it hurt, right? Yeah. So I went back up. I, I stepped out of the water, went back up or whatever. And I was like, hey, what's going on, man? Da, da, da. And we just started talking. Yeah. One of the guys was there because he was going through like a divorce or whatever. And his buddy brought him, whatever. So it was just cool. <laughs> like, we just literally just talked the whole entire time. And it turned out to be so awesome because then he took me, like, what was that the, the next, next day? day? Yeah. yeah. So it was nice. He just do little stuff like that. Like, I, I, he took me on. A, was it a 5k oh yeah yeah. 5K and like all the little walk things we find the little it was it's a lot if it's outside we like to do it Gotta if it's trying medals. new foods trying new drinks just honestly making a fool out of ourselves sometimes <laughs> we like to do it google bro i google everything okay what's what's my favorite color we're gonna say it together one two three green, green. <laughs> Both our favorite colors are green. I'm telling y'all, he want to be like me. So I mean, I'm like an olive green kind, you know, like a like the nice like olive green. But mine color. too. That's what so I'm saying. He want to be like me so know, bad. It's, it's, it's my little baby. He want to be like me. <laughs> and then, what is my favorite thing about you? Okay, so what is your favorite thing about me? Dang, that's crazy. I mean, <laughs> my favorite thing. See, my favorite thing. I, got some I don't know. I'll say I'll say drive. Like I'll say you drive to do like everything, bro. And like your your emotional connection, to, your com emotional connection to everything you do. Cause like me, I'm like super like I want to say nonchalant. <laughs> like, I, I do care about stuff, but I'm like, all right, cool, next. Like I go, I got, I'm like next. Like all right, whatever happens, I'm going to the next thing, next thing, yeah. next thing. And yeah, so. I feel like that is that is crazy right now. <laughs> because I feel like my favorite thing about him is the fact that he is like that. He's like. Cause like he said, I'm very, I'm a very A personality type. What, what's, what's the opposite of type A personality? Cause I'm very like, mm -hmm. is it type B probably? I don't know. All I know is like, I'm just very like jagged when it comes to some things. And I just like how he's just kind of like a, Hey, it's not that serious. He kind of like levels me out a little bit. Cause I will be spewing and just fuming over something <laughs> so frustrated. And then he'll just come in like, yo, it's really not that know. deep. Mm -mm. <laughs> but not only that i just love the fact honestly i i haven't really i i'm 31 years old he's been to more countries than i've been to he's been to he's done things that i didn't and i was again type of personality i was too busy like once i get this then i'll start doing this or mm -hmm. no at this time this is just not the perfect time like i wasn't living my life honestly until I met this man. That's when I really started doing all the things that I wanted to do. I just hit my 30s and this is the best time I've ever had in my entire life. So I'm on my life. It's and crazy. I owe a lot of you. Don't 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 think your 20s is it. If you ain't if you ain't get the get a chance to do it in your 20s and you feel like it's too late, listen, I'm 31 years old. And when I say I've never felt younger, I never felt freer. Obviously, I met an amazing oh, person oh, to do that oh, for me. Oh. The but grind don't stop. It's beautiful. I love it. What do my parents think about you? My parents love him. My grandma, and you haven't even met most of them in person <laughs> yet. But my grandma love him. My aunts love him. My mom adores him. Mm -mm -mm. It is insane. Mm. I get so sick of her. What's Trey's number? I forgot oh, his number. Lord. I'm going to send him this. Did he read the Bible Ain't yet? Blah, blah, blah. She called me like I was supposed to know her voice by heart or something. <laughs> I was like, she was like, she just started talking. She like I answered the phone. She just started talking. I was just like, "Who is this?" <laughs> I, was, I was like, "Whoa, wait a minute!" And that's my mama. But yeah. But my mom married us. She, her, it was only her, her husband. Y'all saw the video, but mm -hmm. if you if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the video. But we had a very small, very intimate ceremony, and it was it was beautiful. I think it was perfect. Yeah, another place we went on many dates. The, yes. the Towers of America. Oh it's yes. A nice spot. I love that place. I love that place. I got, I got, I got plans for that place in the future. Oh, anyway. Lord. <laughs> but, uh, what's next? What's next? How did, what do your mom? Oh, my parents. Oh, look at my mom. My mom love her. Yeah. So my sure. sister, everybody, my mom just literally like one of the, one of the posts I posted the other day and I was like, I love you guys together. I was like, oh my God. Um, let's see. What is, what's my favorite food? Favorite food? Yeah. Damn. So much pressure. So much pressure. I feel like you switch and then you binge in that specific food. Yeah, I do though. <laughs> so like right now it's like 
eggs, right? Yeah. And then let me see. Like if there was a a a hmm. Like if I don't know, that's crazy because I don't even know yours. We literally try so much food. Like yeah, I, just try, like, I just like food. Like, I just like things. Like I'm like I'll I'll say like a basic like steak and potatoes and like vegetables because like it's like all right I, I, you can't go wrong with that. But it's like it depends. Yeah, I don't so, think I have a favorite food. Actually. I used to have a favorite food. I don't have a favorite food anymore. I feel like my favorite food used to be Chinese food because that one thing about it is I can eat me some Chinese food. That's why I say I love you more than Chinese food. <laughs> I can have that Chinese food, bro. Like, it's cool. It's cool. Chinese, Chinese, food. Food ain't, Chinese, Chinese food ain't bad. Bro. Thai food? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me see. If I was a pig, I don't know. If you were a pig? Are you a cat person or a dog person? Definitely a dog person. I'm a cat person. Definitely 100% <laughs> dog person. Y'all already know I have four. I have four cats, and now I'm down mm -hmm. to one. So we have a cat and a dog. Mm -mm -mm. Cats, bro. Grind my gears. Spoil brats. Who's more introverted and who's more extroverted? Answer that already. That's I know. I'm, I'm introverted. <laughs> introvert. Wait, let me see my, what my phone. And you are an extrovert. Let me see my, what I, what I said for this part. <laughs> oh no, my phone writing notes. I said. I think what part is. I don't know. Does it? I don't think I'm. A... Definitely extrovert. Oh, well, she has a short social fuse. Oh, so I said. <laughs> I, I said she's an extrovert. Okay, that's true. Um, That's but true. when she she's out, she have like this burst, and it, it depends on the people. Obviously, she have this burst of energy with these specific people or person, and then it's like, all right, babe, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, like it, <laughs> it 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 declines almost immediately. Mm -hmm. I feel like the 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 most my social battery has been charged is when we were in 68 Victor School, yeah, because probably. of like the group we were with. But it's and like I, was, anybody... I, feel like, I feel like I was the opposite. I was like, mm. nah, I'm trying to chill, bro. Like I ain't really trying to do much. like I'm trying to go like. My thing is like, all right, I don't want to stay in the house, so I'm trying to go. Like, I'll try to go out and do something like that if I'm invited to do it. But then I'll be like, uh, too much, too much, too yeah. much. But me, even now, I just be like, oh, blah 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 blah. Hmm. Yeah, it depends. Y'all still want to interact? <laughs> Y'all not sleepy? <laughs> well, I like hanging out. I like, so I'm the only one tired. Yeah, Got it. Yeah. <laughs> um, who cooks and who cleans? I mean, it's a mixture. She I definitely, so. she definitely cooks later. I than prefer I to cook. Yeah. I just love cooking. I like trying new things. Um, as far as cleaning, we both clean. Yeah, I just got stupid OCDs. So you you made a lot. You made spaghetti. Well, yeah, like I can, I can, so I can survive, bro. Like I've been living <laughs> on my own for a very, very, very long time, and I can survive. But when it comes to cooking for other people, I'd be like, at your own risk. You can eat it if you want. <laughs> it, I feel like it works. Well, like we, we just. We just do what needs to be done. Like, mm -hmm. as far as I guess that kind of falls into gender roles, we don't necessarily do that. I mean, I do tease yeah. you a lot when I have to take out the trash when you're not here. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I yeah. gotta do boy things. <laughs> <laughs> it all depends. It all depends. I feel like it just, it, it just does what works. Like, I don't know. I'm a big, like I said, my OCD is kind of crazy, bro. I like things a perfect way, and I don't like looking at certain stuff. I'd be like, ah, I just can't look like I can't look at this anymore. And I just clean it, even though she'd be like, no, leave it. I'd be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then since you turn away, I'm like fixing it. I'm like doing No, like, that's only now because he had <laughs> surgery on his foot and he do not know how to sit still. Like sit still. Oh, like no, why are you that. up and doing stuff? I, like, do I have a video. He cleaning my car. He's coming to the mm -hmm. freaking car trying to take in groceries. Like, boy, sit can't down. Do it. Can't do it. But not. one thing about it is the fact that he. So let's go back to what I love about you is when it comes to everything that I'm going through. I opened up to him about it and it was the it was the best response y'all let me let me tell y'all first because i have to i have oh, to Lord. so there was one day we were going through i was going through a lot mentally like i was so frustrated and y'all know how i get y'all know how i get and i had opened up to him about like everything that like i was going through and stuff like that and i'm used to people like instantly like oh no you you got a lot going on here we you gotta go so as i'm explaining everything to him i'm already pushing him away before he even got a chance to respond i was like oh but i mean if you don't want to deal with it it's no, fine like i don't <laughs> i don't mind like if you want to break up that's cool <laughs> so he's like he's like andrea i'm not going anywhere he's like i'm glad you're telling me now because i don't want us to get years down the road and then then you tell me and then i kind of have to relearn you all over again mm -hmm. y'all how um, that was the best response to somebody that goes through mental health things that i probably ever heard and that sealed it <laughs> that sealed it because then there's other so with that being said there's times when it's like when it is really cluttered so we do like to keep a really clean house because when it's cluttered 
my brain don't work either. I'd be like, I don't even know where to start. Like, I feel like I'm cleaning stuff, but it's not getting not clean indeed, yeah. and it drives me crazy. And so one day when I was overwhelmed and he, I was asleep, he cleaned and I woke up, he's like, yeah, I noticed you were having trouble with this. So I just went ahead and just cleaned this up. And I was just like, that just means so much to me. Cause y'all, I was struggling. So little things like that. He's just so amazing. It's just so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is my biggest I guess what is our biggest goal in life? What is what's your biggest goal in life? Biggest goal I don't know. My biggest goal is literally just like to take care of my family, really. Like I'll say like like I'll just take care of you. But I feel like mold the like mold the kids to where it's like I know I don't have to worry about certain things. Yeah. That's like probably, probably like the biggest thing. Like constant communication. Cause I feel like information is power when it comes to kids. Like don't let your kids in the dark and be like, oh, they don't need to know that later like, kids. It's like Yeah. But like they find out about it or go through something similar, like they have no idea how to react to it or go through it. So it's like just I don't know, talk to them, explain the situations and let them know how it, That makes yeah. sense. Pretty my biggest thing. You know, just be be happy. Be don't be don't be in a financial struggle yes. and then taking it out on everybody else because you're yes. like emotionally just drained. So yeah. yeah. I feel like that's my thing, like just being at peace and being happy. I honestly I know it's gonna sound so weird, but I never wanted to be rich. I never wanted to be, I just wanted to be comfortable. Like I wanted to be comfortable, well off. Like, cause where I come, listen, I come from nothing. I know exactly what it feels like to have absolutely nothing. So when I did have ambitions and goals, I never wanted surplus. I just wanted to be okay. If my car breaks down and I need the money, I, I want the security of knowing that I have that in the account. Mm -hmm. If the kids want something or need something, I want the security <coughs> of knowing that I have it. If for whatever reason we lost all our income, I know we the have there exactly. For a bit, yeah. So I never wanted to be rich. I just wanted to be comfortable, and that still rings true today because I I just want my nice little job. I just want a nice little savings. Mm -hmm. I want you know our debt and stuff. Like I just yeah. want to be comfortable. Not just not being happy. Able to panic. Exactly. So that's it. Them. A little house in Texas, <laughs> you know, a pool in the backyard, nothing crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, right? You know. So, and that's it. That's all the questions. And then after that, we're about to go ahead and give y'all some tips. Okay. So, mm -hmm, I guess mm -hmm, how many mm -hmm. tips did you come up with? Honestly, I should that right one? That's how I can't say. I want you to free ball with three I got tips. Six. Yeah, I'm just right. I'm just say whatever. Okay. So I got six. So I'm gonna go. The first one when it comes to you so let's back up first of all because when i say going through being in a long distance relationship this honestly is is difficult i hate when he's not here but because it's him it's worth it and he makes it easy for me like now i see that you left your sweater up there you can put a little spray on it who well, did that <laughs> so when he leaves i like uh, his i like smelling his cologne on the bed when he's not there so he leaves his sweater put some put some of his cologne on it and it's, it's just something i have you know um but my first tip was <laughs> my first tip was to share pictures and videos um and that's that goes into and not just just pictures and videos of when you do something like just sharing the moments as if you guys are together mm -hmm. for example that one time when it was frosted over and oh, yeah, the grass, yeah, yeah. The grass I was all skin. sparkly yeah. and like wild. little things like that he'll send me like videos of it like little things just so we can share little moments with each other and i think that is such a so so underrated so underrated when you even send pictures of like just little things mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because it makes me know it lets me know that damn he's thinking about me and he's trying to share even the little moments or the little things that he likes or see beauty in with me <laughs> so. what you, mm -hmm. you got one uh hmm, let's see I'll say, so is it off like long distance stuff right yeah yeah so i'll say one thing is like uh i thought like this is like a big part of like long distance and in a relationship as well like just all like all in all um don't lose yourself as an individual when you go into a relationship or like like while you're away like don't just be like oh what is she doing oh this and this and that like don't be like i guess so focused on that like yeah obviously you're gonna check on her and see what's going on but like accomplish some goals or you have time to do it and that's pretty much it like don't go into it like oh we're together we gotta do everything together and then like stop doing what you used to do like it's like, oh, I'm not going to the gym unless she comes with me. Or I'm not exactly. hanging out with my friends unless she comes with me. Or I'm not doing it. Because then it's like, you're like, yeah, your life is like one of the same. Like, yes, it is. But you still have to like, 
got an experience life to come back and tell her about certain things so it's like exactly. it's like a big thing for me too with that it's like i say that all the time a relationship is at his best when you guys still have your individual things going on like he has his goals and he has his stuff and all his ambitions and stuff that he's going for i have mine over here we are going on our own path but we're doing it linearly you mm. get what i'm saying so he'll cross over here and he'll help me with this or i'll cross over here and i'm supporting him over here with this but at the end of the day we have our own things going on we're just have our own things going on together yeah. if that makes sense i mean like i think that's a big part because like like me with my like uh like mma stuff and fighting stuff it's like you're not big on it, but you, you came to like the class and yeah. stuff and you like did a little training or whatever. That's yeah. pretty dope. That's like, cool. Like, you know. It's a little thing. <laughs> I could really share your feelings and emotions. I understand when it comes to a lot of times being in a long distance relationship is hard to you get frustrated simply because you just want them to be by sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like I'm I'm frustrated because I need some attention, but I know I can't get this attention right now. And I'm just frustrated because there's been times where. When I, I guess when I say really share your feelings, don't just go ghost. Don't just be childish. Don't just use those, do those things. Because there was a point in time where I was upset with you. And I won't lie, I wanted to just not talk to you. But that's why I texted you that day. And I was like, hey, I'm not really a fan of you right now. Mm -hmm. So I'll talk to you later. Yeah. And you were like, thank you. I'm glad that you told me that. So disappearing. Yeah. yeah. So things like no, that. that a big difference. And then I came back <laughs> after I was not mad. And after I calmed down. And then we talked things through. And obviously. And that. We just do good. <laughs> just but I'm telling you that is that really uh, works like if you really don't want to talk to the individual right now just express that like really mm -hmm. express your feelings whether you're upset whether you're happy even if it's not with the individual just yeah. express your feelings because definitely it got like a thousand text messages like what are you doing Why are you right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah if I went if I would have went ghost <laughs> bing, 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 30 bing. missed calls 60 1600 messages <laughs> <laughs> it's like hey I'll say hello hey go check in the house real quick <laughs> <laughs> um see what else what else what else uh hmm long distance i don't know make time like just don't like don't make excuses i would just say that's one of the big things too like like i said like like everybody knows we make things we make time for things that we want so it's like don't be like oh i'm busy i'll talk to you later mm -hmm. oh i'm out with my friends i'll call you i'll text you blah 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 it's like bro like send a quick message let them know what's going on yeah. like Take yeah, a picture with you and your like it's it's literally like small yes. thing. Take a picture with your friends, like Definitely a photo or something like that. Time. So it's like yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. All of it goes into communication. Like mm -hmm. just really, really communicate. Like that is the biggest thing because the next one for me was communicate by any means. Memes, text, one thing we do is we be sending reels. <laughs> like crazy no you <laughs> be sending reels like crazy pictures uh, text messages like anything like just communicate by any means we send songs and stuff to each other mm -hmm. like it's just like little things and also he has my gps like we share locations mm -hmm. so i like when i'm like if i if he knows i'm about to go to a friend house or he knows that i'm doing something and i'm like tired or whatever the case may be he'll like oh you're almost there babe don't worry about it or hey did you make it home yet and he'll, he's just checking you know what i'm saying like little things like that it's kind of like having their presence there without them being there so you know i just gotta make sure i gotta murder nobody you know you know that's it yeah <laughs> all like, times where's, like, where's that house was that right, i'm gonna be shot. like those videos like <laughs> if i get kidnapped you don't understand what you just did <laughs> If you don't, if you value your family's mm. lives, you would turn the GPS on my phone. Oh, it's too late. She's like, she's like, I'm He's be, here. Like, I'm going to be fine. <laughs> I'll just be chilling. Huh? So don't worry, guys. My husband's coming. <laughs> She's going to be here for a short time. Oh, high speed. High speed. <laughs> oh, why? Hey, take that life. goddamn beret off. We are, you at home. You, you can be comfortable out. at home. Just going to take them out about you real quick. I mean, it didn't. We're walking far too. That's how you Oh, are. you got the color patch on. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. He's living his life. My next one was, um, um, well, I mean, it's the same thing. Let each other know what you're thinking about. And that goes into like anything. Like when it comes to like, for example, if you have a, a new goal that you want to try to accomplish, share that with your person. If you, like me, when I told him that I was going to i told him when i was going to apply for nursing school again i told him that i was going to take that test to get my rt again i told him about all like the goals and stuff where i want to live that my finances like we i talk anything that i'm thinking about i'm telling him about it because i want to bounce those things off of him so again communicate if you're even thinking something treat that person as if they're there as much as you can 
that way when you do get back together mm -hmm. it's a scene it's seamless you can It'll communicate and it's itself. not awkward yeah <clears throat> okay so my second to last one did you have any more not really no so i put reassure each other any way you can now the thing is when you say people need reassurance people automatically assume that it's insecurities going on but no every, when i say every person no matter how long you've been together whether or not you've been in a 20-year marriage everybody deserves reassurance if there's anything that he's ever unsure about anything that he feel maybe have a little insecurity about i'm going to make sure i'm reassuring him whether or not that is when it comes to his looks when it comes to any other man out here in these streets because who what, what other man <laughs> what like I'm, I'm gonna make sure he understands that he the finest person that I've ever laid my eyes on. He is the best person because he really is that I've ever laid my eyes on. And I don't care who got what. Y'all not him. You not him. When I, I look, I be in public. Uh, mm, I'm so sorry. Suck. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wow, well, that's pretty much it. Then. Yeah. And then FaceTime dates, phone dates are amazing. So even though we we celebrated New Year's this year on FaceTime. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You put that video too. Yeah. yeah. So little things like that. Just make sure you're finding any type of time to spend any any reason or any type of time to spend with each other that you possibly can because those things are very important. And I promise you, if these are things that you like, if you find yourself in a long distance relationship, I'm just letting you right. I don't yeah. rec I don't recommend mm -hmm. ten. Negative. <laughs> I hate it. I Negative 10 out of 10. Oh, but, no face focus. Yeah. I feel like it's focusing on your face. It's no, focused. it's too good. Yeah. Okay. I can't see that far for whatever reason. You think you're better than me? No, nah, definitely <laughs> negative 10 out of 10 for sure. I don't like it. But yeah, if you just make sure you communicate, maybe follow some of these tips, then you will be perfectly fine. You got it. You got it. I believe in you. <laughs> and that's all I got for this video. But not only that, look, look, look listen. I want to turn this into a challenge. This is the dual military tag. So <laughs> I am going to say, do you know any military couples that actually uh, make content? Army Barbie. Y'all tag Army Barbie. Let her know that she got tagged for the military tag so she can go ahead and do it. Um, Army Princess. Let her know she got tagged for the military, dual military tag. So go ahead and answer these questions. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to leave the questions down in the description box so y'all actually know what questions y'all answering dual military tag you've been challenged if you know anybody else that's dual military go ahead and um tag them down in the comments send this to them do whatever you need to do so they can go ahead and do the dual military tag you've been challenged okay you see it. Andrea Siobhan said do it. Okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, oh. That's it for this video. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Any questions you have, leave them down below, and we will see you in the next video. Peace. Bye. Teach you how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do, and you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'm a wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer Take her